Hi everybody, welcome back on another technical demo. In this demo, I'm going to showcase how to build large learning model with the instructor lab. You know, a lot of people are actually starting doing uh, building and developing new AI application, which consumes a lot of language model API, for example, ChatGPT4 and OpenAI and Hugging Base, Orama, a lot of stuff here. The problem is for developers or even AI application uh, builders. They sometimes have no experience around data scientists or Python language platform and frameworks. This is a huge challenge for them to create their own large language model, aka LLM, for their private AI. So Instructor Lab, which is some command line, allow you to create and generate synthetic data based on your own skills and knowledge like a text space or rather than some Python and application code or some complex data scientists. So Instructor Lab, uh, which is a fully open source community project, which allows you to contribute back to your LLM model based on your skills and knowledge. So for example, I'm going to ask uh, who is Daniel or my language model, like some IBM Grand model or some uh, Olama from the hugging space as well. Sometimes I don't have a uh, good answer from the uh, AI model. In this case, how to uh, tune or retrain my EGIS model, but I don't have any experience around data scientists or Python language at all. So in software lab, uh, allow you create some pull request which is based on your own skill set or your knowledge, which uh, augment your LLM uh, experience and data with some accuracy. So this is a few steps how it works when you use uh, Instructor Lab CLI. You need, you first thing, you need to download the CLI command line on your local machine. For example, I'm using macOS. I'm just downloading binary from macOS M1 machine. And then you're going to start with some Python virtual environment to start your LLM model as a serving in one time. And then, of course, you're going to start with a chat a prompt uh, application uh, consuming your LLM. So you can ask some of the question, but you got some uh, augment thing. Okay, you're gonna uh, add a new knowledge or skill, your taxonomy. This of the lab allow you to generate new synthetic data for your training data and retraining them. And once you retrain, which is creating new uh, synthetic data, like some giga file, like a binary, and then uh, you're gonna uh, run new serving model and then consume new train the model uh, to get better result from uh, your chat application. It's pretty simple. Let me get into the demo and how it works. Okay, I already installed Instructor Lab latest version and then just like Instructor Lab, you can see that a few bunch of the command line, you can run uh, chat model, and then you can initiate it and you can actually uh, uh, find uh, what is the difference between your existing taxonomy and then uh, edit a new knowledge and skill set. And you can download a specific model from Hugging Face or Olama. And then you can generate new synthetic data. Of course, you're going to initiate it the first, uh, first time you're going to download this Instructor Lab CLI. And you can run your own LLM model based on your preferred LLM model, which is you download it locally. And you can test your LLM model once you change that, and then you're going to retrain it. So, a bunch of obvious command right here. Let me try to uh, uh, check it out my LLM version first, uh, which is just uh, 0 0.71, which is a raised one. You're going to keep updating using Python command line. So, we're going to use a virtual environment as a Python one. Uh, to run the edit model and then chat application. So let me try to open new terminal and then uh, try to run new virtual environment. In the first terminal, I'm going to run a uh, running serve uh, the edit model, which I've already downloaded here to my computer game file. I'm going to use IBM Granny model 7B, uh, but you could actually use any kind of model like a model 9 or some other module if you wanted to. Uh, test and uh, implement your own AI app. So I left serve. You see that uh, it will uh, host, host it, my local host 8000 port. And then you can see the model, Grenade 7B, uh, and then just really quick to run it. 
And then there are the localhost documentation. You can have a bunch of the RESTful API, how to consume, how to call, and invoke the model using HTTP right? or call commands. Okay. Which is very useful when you actually use implements of the application like Java done it, um, uh, whatever you need. And then the other command line I'm gonna run I let model chat is uh, provide a sub chat interface by simply testing my uh, LLM model. So this is a granite model, and I'm gonna ask a simple question: what is the insert wrap? And then you can see that the answer swimming insert wrap is an innovative education platform designed to facilitate active learning experience for students in the various disciplines, including computer science. And then there are key, key features, uh, and then it's a pretty much obvious and accurate answer. Let me try to ask another question. Who is Daniel O? And Daniel O is a prominent figure in the field of computer science and education, and then associate professor in computer science and university in California, Los Angeles, the UCLA, which is really good, but this is not true because I'm expecting myself, like Daniel O at Redhead. So let me try to tweak the uh, question, uh, get better answer and right answer here. So try to, uh, for example, rather than there are a lot of Daniel O around the world. So if they don't down the uh, question like Daniel O, who is Daniel O at right? And then still the answer is really not good because they're really confusing and then keep answering the same uh, result, something like that from uh, UCA professors. Okay, so this is, uh, I just found some issue using my gradient model to get right answer for my question. I'm going to actually check programming and also uh, the stop my search. And then in order to uh, contribute to uh, the knowledge to augment my LLM result, so it's very simple. I'm going to create to some uh, directory and file. And basically, I'm using this gradient model. And there are taxonomy uh, directory. I'm going to create a new knowledge. I already created you a folder under the taxonomy knowledge in such a and overview folder. And then just create a create a YAML to contribute back to my LLM model based on text rather than some Python or some complicated uh, data science. And here's my city example. Question is who is Daniel or Rahat? This is exactly my profile. I'm Java champion and the senior principal developer advocate at Red Hat. And then here's my bunch of my achievement, my job and responsibility. And another question is, uh, how many years of experience at Red Hat has Daniel O have? Because I've been working since 2015 as developer advocate, technical marketing and the product marketing and solution architect and so on. I actually put this my a new answer and sitting answer and question into my daily part. Pretty simple. So whenever you contribute back to your LLM, uh, if you have a better answer uh, based on your AI model, this is a very simple way to uh, augment and your data and LLM model. It's very simple. So uh, this is a, maybe uh, you don't have any need to uh, run something new Python or data set on your uh, LLM model. And then one of the good thing is you can actually uh, verify your QA demo uh, for your new knowledge or use that is a valid or not. So luckily I just run text on a deep command line which allows verify my new QA uh, use that knowledge is a Physical. And now I'm going to, to uh, run uh, data generation, which is a really new synthetic data on top of the existing LLM based on my query YAML. So it literally uh, needed to require to use GPU processor. Uh, luckily, I'm using Mac OS M1, which have a default uh, GPU processor. Uh, so I'm going to use that. And then it automatically uh, created generated synthetic data based on the QA. For example, what is the primary economic purpose of Daniel O, which is some kind of uh, assuming question by random users. So this is a recall. So it takes uh, uh, almost for me, it takes uh, more than uh, 25 minutes 
I'm going to skip it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna show you moving stuff. So it depends on uh how many GPU process or in how many uh complicated QA you're gonna uh, use that to generate new static data for me and and it took 25 million of that. And then now we're gonna to uh going to like a generate a folder on the instructive uh, directory you can find there's some logs and JSON uh, format file to generate new synthetic data uh, metadata and we're gonna uh we're gonna use this generating uh, data uh, to retrain our existing model. The simple command line, I let a model train, which will retrain existing edited model based on the synthetic generated data. And then it, uh, the I let a command line basically using a uh, model nine model uh, by default. So you can see that new model nine model create that uh, based on uh, the data and the query knowledge. Configuration. And the one last step is I'm going to uh, uh, when I go back to that uh, file and you can find the bunch of the binary, but this is not exact a binary for your LLM such as a file format. So, so that's why we need to convert uh, this binary to uh, LLM GPL file. In order to that, for that, uh, one of the benefits when you're using macOS, you can actually run item model test at this moment, or when you convert your uh, generate binary to actual model file, it actually uh, give it a try to verify with some of the uh, Question and answer to, uh, like I said, uh, satisfy your expectation. For example, I just uh, test my model locally, and now you can see that user prompt who is Daniel or Redhead, and then now I got a expected result. And then you can see that for training, it actually point to you like a uh, UC Eddy professor stuff. But after training, it actually returned my expectation uh, from working for my profile from like a red hand. So now I think it's uh, my new model, trying the new model, which is uh, really cool based on my expectation. And then I'm going to just convert the new uh, binary for actual model file, which is a GGOF. Uh, very, but it also takes up like a 10 minutes for my local machine. But it depends on the, how long does it take uh, based on your local GPU processor and the, uh, the language model you want to retrain. Okay, so command line, I let model convert, uh, which it takes almost time, like a 10 or 15 minutes. I'm going to skip it, uh, the boring stuff, and then make it really faster, my stuff. And then now you can see that I just created, it just uh, created new. Uh, uh, GGO file under the train directory. Let me uh, try go to here. Now you can see that almost the full gig new trained model based on my new knowledge based on the QA YAML file. Okay, so now I'm going to try to uh, run my serving runtime based on new model, which is I'm going to pass down new model file. This one, a new G of uh, model nine, and then I'm going to switch it to uh, another terminal to run the chat application based on the new model. Okay, it will be take some time in the loading. I'm going to need uh, the new documentation API URL, and then I'm going to run the same I left model chat uh, based on new trained model. Okay. And then now I'm going to try to ask the same question, who is Daniel O, uh, which was answered from UCA professor, uh, which is uh, me. And then now I can see that Daniel O, senior principal developer applicant, had exactly what I wanted to answer. And then I'm going to ask another question, how long does Daniel O work for Red Hat? And then now I can see he's been employed by Red Hat since 14, and then uh, among other answer, which is so great to me. So that's it. So a few takeaway for uh, application developer or AI model builder, which he doesn't have any experience of 
Python or a data scientist technology buffer. So one, you can just go to Instructing Lab uh, project, you can actually download LLM and then you can uh, consume that LLM model from your AI application from java.net platform. And then if you feel uh, the answer should be uh, tweaked or uh, modified directly from LLM with the new training the model, you can just control back to uh, create a Q&A or the composition skill set YAML file based on text rather than some program language. And then it automatically, you're gonna retrain and then using creating a synthetic data, but also in the end, you're gonna quantize the, the LLM uh, format file such as a GGOF in the end, and then you can just run your serving model based on their trained model. Thanks again and have a good one.